Human breast milk is without a doubt the biological norm for infants. The three main macronutrients in human milk are lactose, otherwise known as the milk protein, fat, and protein. It is well tolerated and easily digestible by infants. The thousands of molecules and compounds in milk, such as hormones, growth factors, vitamins, antibodies, all contribute in many ways to the overall growth and development of the infant. For example, they help infants fight against infection and inflammation, as well as contribute to organ and immune development. Feeding breast milk to preterm infants can actually negatively impact their growth. This is because breast milk is biologically designed for full-term and not preterm babies. To improve postnatal growth of preterm babies, breast milk is fortified with commercially available fortifiers containing fat, protein, and lactose to better suit their nutritional requirements. However, the variation in nutrients in fortified breast milk does not meet the needs of 25% of preterm infants. A new method called target fortification increases the nutrient supply by selectively enhancing the missing nutrients on an individual basis. For example, if one sample of breast milk lacks sufficient amounts of protein, target fortification increases the amount of protein added to that sample. Conversely, if a second sample of breast milk does not have enough lactose, Target fortification increases the proportion of lactose added to the breast milk. Using target fortification, there is a personalized adjustment of nutrients in breast milk to better suit individual requirements of preterm babies. When target fortification was tested in preterm babies, a relationship between target fortification consumption and weight gain was observed. The research showed that infants on target fortification had growth rates that were linearly correlated to feeding volume. With increasing milk intake, there is a corresponding linear increase in growth. These results are promising as they indicate a potential way to avoid inhibitions in postnatal growth in preterm infants. The more we know about postnatal nutrition, the better able we are to improve preterm infant outcomes. Thank you for watching! If you liked this video, feel free to share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.